Good morning. What is up, guys? Rules for Rebels here. Oh my gosh, the sky is falling today. The world's coming to an end. Amazon Associates program has changed their terms. I'm shocked. And, uh, I'm not shocked, guys. Amazon, time and time and time again, fucks over third party sellers, the little guy, etc. We really shouldn't be surprised by this. Uh, if you watch my videos, I've always told you don't trust Amazon, don't trust eBay. None of these guys are your friends. Um, you know, never build your business on a third party platform. Never put in, you know, all your eggs in one basket. Never lose control. Um, you know, use these companies. Don't let them use you. I've seen time and time again people build businesses on Amazon only to have Amazon steal their product idea and undercut them on price and cut them out of the search rankings. Or, oh, you're not allowed to sell that anymore. Or, you know, whatever else Amazon does. I mean, I. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you all my stories. Just recently, Amazon took down my my Kush t-shirt for an intellectual property violation. I designed the t-shirt. It's my idea. There's no such thing as the Kush 420 Bud Company, so there's nobody out there who could make a copyright claim. But guess what? Amazon can do whatever they want. I wouldn't be surprised if Amazon's selling their own Kush 420 Bud Company t-shirt next month. Um, use these companies don't let them use you i'm going to talk a little bit about the trajectory of how it eh, trajectory i don't know if that's basically how affiliate programs tend to go so um new up and coming company comes out uh oh shit we're spending you know and i'm basically going to be the the guy in the boardroom oh shit we're spending a whole lot of money on advertising money oh th this really sucks we're spending a lot of money someone in the boardroom i have an idea let's enlist the public to be an army of affiliates for us and they'll post blogs and social media things and they'll help build our business up to this amazing business so they bring in these affiliates with a really attractive offer we're going to give you a 30-day cookie we're going to give you 10 percent of all commissions um, we're going to offer all types of bonuses and it's great right affiliates are making money amazon or netflix or whoever else is making money um, and it's a really good program for everybody but the way all affiliate agreements are written, we have the right to change terms at any time. We have the right to not pay you. We have the right to do whatever the fuck we want to do. Um, and so then basically, you know, six months, a year down the road, the company has grown and we're back in the Amazon boardroom and hey, we're, we're paying out a lot of money to these affiliates. Now they're not losing money because basically affiliates are bringing them sales that they wouldn't have otherwise had. So, I mean, I use affiliates in my business. Um, I don't mind giving them a percentage of, of the money I'm making because without them, I wouldn't even have that sale. So what's better? Um, you know, 50% of a sale or 0% of a sale? Well, of course, 50% is better. So I'm happy to pay an affiliate because they're bringing me business that I probably wouldn't have otherwise gotten. Uh, however, these companies get a little bit too big for their britches. Oh, we're, we're this big company. We're Amazon. We're Netflix. We're whatever. Um, and uh, we really don't need these little guys. So yeah, I know we were paying uh, a 10% commission and offering a 30 day cookie. We're gonna cut that commission down to 4%. So you know that goes on for a while back in the boardroom. People are still making a lot of money. We really don't need these people. Let's make the cookie a 24 hour cookie. So they have one day to, uh, to get the sale. So they need to be really good at converting. So they go to the 24 hour cookie. Six months, a year goes by, they're even bigger. Uh, we're still paying these guys a lot. Let's make it a session-based cookie so that our affiliates can drive people to our thing. If they do make a sale, we're only gonna give them a measly 4%. Um, and guess what? If they don't convert the sale before that person closes out the browser, fuck them, we're not gonna give them anything. Um, so then they go to a session-based cookie and it's happened time and time again. Uh, Netflix used to have a really lucrative affiliate program. I mean, I don't blame, Netflix was overly generous right off the bat, basically what they did is uh, I think it was $20 per sign up, no credit card required. So I mean, it was a no brainer to get somebody to try out Netflix, but then Netflix became a household name. They really don't need affiliates and they cut the affiliate program, I believe out entirely. Um, okay, sorry, I had to grab my Dunkin' Donuts there. Um, every day runs on Dunkin', right? So uh, anyhow, back to talking about affiliate programs. AliExpress is another example of this. AliExpress has not cut their commissions, but I almost would have preferred if they cut their commissions as opposed to the cookie period. So at one point, AliExpress had a 30-day cookie, which meant if I write a blog post about this new piggy bank and somebody clicks a link and they're like, oh, that's pretty cool, and then for whatever reason, they don't buy it. They have to take their kid to school. They have to go to work. Um, they got diarrhea. They got to run to the bathroom. Whatever it may be, uh, they leave the computer. Two weeks later, 
they happen to be like, oh, there was that cool piggy bank. I'm going to try to find it. They go back and buy it. I still get the commission because within 30 days, as long as they haven't cleared their cookies, um, I'm still going to get credit for that commission. Um, then AliExpress went to a 24 hour cookie, which 30 day cookies really generous. I don't really fault them for getting rid of that, but they went to 24 hour. It's not as good, but you know, whatever. I'm not mad about it. Um, so we have a 24 hour cookie. I'm still making money. Things are still going good. Well then more recently they go to a session based cookie. So here's what a session based cookie is. As soon as your browser session ends, you're no longer going to be credited with the uh, affiliate sales. So I put up a blog post about, we'll say a piggy bank again, just because I can't think of anything else. So we put up a blog post for a piggy bank. Person comes on, clicks my link, continues on to AliExpress. Maybe they accidentally click the X button and close out the browser. Maybe they have to take their kid to school. Maybe their baby's crying upstairs. Whatever it is, they X out, leave the browser. 10 minutes later, they come back, open it up, go find that thing and buy it. Even though I sent them the sale, I'm not going to be credited because the session, their browser session has ended. Um, so Ollie went to a session based cookie. Um, I still do have a little bit of money rolling in, but basically my commissions have been drastically cut. With a session based cookie, you need to be really good at converting. So that means somebody has to click your ad and buy right away. If that doesn't happen, you're basically not going to get credited with the, uh, with the commission. So that's kind of how that works. Um, but really my point here, before we launch into Amazon, I know I've gone on kind of a rant and a tirade. Um, my, my main point here is that affiliate programs start out really lucrative. And as the company grows and doesn't need you as much anymore, the affiliate program is going to reflect that. So what does that tell us? Be diversified. So when a company does screw over the affiliates, it's not 100% of your income because you have 10 other programs going. It's only 10% of your income. Get in early and make as much money as possible. The way you should, anytime you don't have complete control over something, your attitude should be, there may not be a tomorrow, so I am gonna get in there and make all my money today because tomorrow this program may not exist, the terms may change, etc. So be diversified, get in there and get your money quick. <coughs> and uh, when these things inevitably happen, it won't affect you as much. You won't be one of these people crying on YouTube about how 50% of your income is gone and now you can't pay your rent. Um, when it comes to affiliate programs, a lot of times I don't trust the smaller ones. I don't trust their tracking. I don't trust them to be paid, whatever. Um, but at the same time, you don't really want to go with the big guys like Amazon and eBay because, well, they do offer an affiliate program. They don't need you. So it's very easy for them to, yeah, we're going to cancel this program. We're, oh, we're going to make the term shittier. Um, so go with kind of those mid-level, pro, you know, well-known, reputable, established companies, but not like the one dominating the industry because they don't necessarily need you. Um, in just a second, I'm going to cut over and show you guys the new Amazon affiliate terms. Basically, I'll kind of describe the changes for you really quickly. So it used to be, I think everything, with maybe the exception of a couple of electronics or computers categories, was a flat 4%. As you sell more, I don't remember what it is. You know, if you as you sell over twenty-five thousand a month or fifty thousand a month, you're bumped up to the six percent tier. Once you cross, I don't say a hundred percent, you're up to eight um, percent. Once you cross a hundred thousand, you're up to ten percent. I think it topped out at twelve percent. Um, and then, so basically, what's changed is now everything is a flat rate. So I think wine and gift cards zero percent, um, electronics or video games one percent. Um, all other categories besides the ones that have special commission terms are a flat 4%. And there are a couple categories. I think like clothing and accessories is like 8%. There might be something at 10%. So what does this mean for our Amazon strategy? Again, I don't have the list up in front of me, but basically you may want to consider targeting some of these higher commission things. You may not want to put as much time or effort into Amazon because it's not going to return the results that you hope for. Um, it may be a good idea to target the bounties. So a lot of times Amazon will have, you know, get somebody to sign up for Amazon Prime Movies and we'll give you a flat $8. Uh, get somebody to sign up for a wedding registry and we'll give you a flat $3. So instead of making, you know, a measly 1% or 4% commission on a phone charger or a $10 book or whatever, um, which equates to cents, you may want to target the bounties where you can maybe get three bucks, four bucks, five bucks, eight bucks, whatever it may be. So um, I'm going to cut short this portion of the video. We're going to head over to the new Amazon affiliate terms page which uh, starts on March 1st so it's at probably less than a week away and yeah I'll show you guys the new terms and we'll cut this video short uh, be right back with you fellas and ladies 
Hey YouTube Rules for Rebels back with you. So we are looking at the new uh, flat rate Amazon affiliate rates in terms for various categories. No longer will you be able to earn more by promoting more or selling more. Um, some people this may actually benefit, some people this may actually hurt. So um, I think in some ways this may benefit some smaller sellers if you weren't reaching the higher tiered commissions anyhow you were at 4% and most of the other categories are gonna remain at 4% anyhow. Uh, the other uh, group of people this may benefit if, I, I don't recall what digital goods were before, but I mean, if you sell furniture, home, home improvement, lawn and garden, pet products, pantry, et cetera, um, you're essentially gonna get 8% for everything, whereas before you started off at four and, and had to earn your way up to eight. Um, if you're selling luggage, uh, designer shoes, handbags, et cetera, you're going to get 7%. So if you're selling in some of these higher percentage commission categories, you're going to benefit from this change. If you are a smaller seller who wasn't hitting the, uh, the higher tiered, higher commissions, it's really not going to affect you that much. Um, the people who it is going to affect is video games and video game consoles. So any... Uh, anybody who had a gaming YouTube channel, anybody who had a gaming blog uh, is going to be earning almost nothing for affiliate commissions. You may want to look for another affiliate program. Um, I don't know if GameStop or anybody else has an affiliate program. I think Walmart, um, I don't recall what Walmart pays, but I'm guessing it has to be more than 1%. Uh, televisions, I think televisions were always low on Amazon. I don't believe they paid out the full four. PC stuff was always low. Um, if you have a toy blog, blog if you do unboxings, uh, you're probably dropping a percent if you hit the higher tiers. You're losing a little bit more than that. Um, Amazon Kindle, 4%. Physical books, health products, etc., 4.5%. Uh, digital music, grocery, physical goods, handmade, 5%. Outdoors and tools, 5.5%. Um, I know a lot of people do like survival blogs or prepper YouTube channels and things like that. So those of you guys may get a little bump up if you weren't hitting the, the 6% before. Um, headphones, beauty, musical instruments, business and industrial supplies, 6%. Uh, Amazon Echo, Amazon Fire, 7, apparel, jewelry, luggage, shoes, handbag, 7. Again, I already kind of touched on these, 8, 10. Um, and then everything else, if it, it's a category that's not specifically mentioned, uh, it's going to be 4%. They also say for the month of March, there will be an increase in special program fees for the Amazon Home Services bounty to $10. That's actually pretty good. So I think I kind of already touched on this in the previous section of this video. Um, what does this mean to you if you use the Amazon Affiliates program or if you're thinking about first getting into it? Um, focus on the niches with higher commissions. Um, if you happen to work in one of the niches with lower commissions, you may want to start looking for other options. Uh, but yeah, I guys, just wanted to uh, let you guys know about this. Got to give a, I, I'd heard about these changes. I hadn't really dug into them. And I, I watched a video earlier today from uh, Justin Charnel, uh, a.k.a. Onyx Defiant. I, I, I dig him. He, he does good stuff. I enjoy watching his videos, so if you guys haven't checked him out, head over there and check him out. Uh, I think you'll like his videos. Drop him a comment. Tell him I sent you over. Uh, I'd like to do a collab with him one of these days here. But yeah, just wanted to tell you guys about the new Amazon uh, affiliate commissions. Let me know what you guys think. Is this going to help you or is this going to hurt you? Uh, drop a comment below and let me know. Um, and I'm not going to rehash everything I talked about in the first part of this video, but you guys know how I feel about... Um, Amazon and relying on third parties and everything else. So, so take that advice um, very seriously. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope everybody has a good weekend, and I will catch you guys uh, on the next video.